dogs, PJ Dog 10 Mom here, and today we are back with the Blueprints and Review series. And today we're going to take a look at another, so we're going to be doing another review. And this one is on a capital vessel. So before we get into the actual capital vessel, why don't we look well, you know what? Never mind. Let's bring in the capital vessel. Then we're going to quickly um, take a look at the specs, speak to uh, who the creator is and uh, their workshop, uh, and then we'll take a tour of the vessel itself. So let me go find a spot on the lawn to bring this baby in. So just give me two seconds as I fly over. Where are we gonna fly over? Hmm. Let's see here. Tell you what, maybe we can place her right here for now. Nah, that's not, that's not. Let's put it on the lawn over here. Okay. All right, guys, so this is the machine. It is called the Scabbard Heavy Transport, and this is a, a CV. Uh, before we go in and take a look at this baby here, why don't we... Um, here, let's get me out of the picture here. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the specs for this? Um, so this is a transport capital vessel. I see uh, a few doors, hangar doors here. Uh, let's take a look. Any guns on top of this thing? Are there any guns on this vessel? You know, it's hard for me to tell. This thing is massive. I don't think there are, but it looks like he's marked some, he or she has marked some spots where you can put some, uh, some guns of your choice. Um, Let's take a look on this side. Yeah, I see no, I see no guns. I see no guns. Um, okay, so why don't we go ahead now as I wait inside. We're gonna wait right here for two seconds. We will take a look at this craft. So let's take a look at the specs. So <clears throat> the scabbard heavy transport uh, is created by Excalibur um, and the Excalibur if we take a look at the description is part of the blade collection so there are 10 items in the blade collection um, which we can have a look at in a minute um, so it says here that the scabbard heavy transport capital vessel is a level 15 ship designed to carry all of your blades anywhere throughout the universe, the universe with ease. Very function-minded layout. Uh, once you dock, you have immediate access to all vital medical and processing equipment. <clears throat> Ample hangar space, enough to carry two ballistics side by side, also designed also designed enough height to maneuver within the hangar for vehicle replacement. Small SVHV cargo hangar for mobile storage transport functionality. Use the cargo PUP, which we'll take a look at in a second, guys. So it says here that uh, it's designed uh, to carry a max amount of turrets and fixed weapons, all marked for future placement. So I was correct. This vessel does not currently have any turrets or guns of any kinds on it it says it's built for performance in mind uh, tested in all planets to ensure handling and thrust met the demands and power consumption all thrusters exposed for future patch compatibility uh, it goes on to say that this vessel has six constructors allows for heavy processing of ores three repair stations three o2 stations 32 cargo boxes four ammo boxes one medical 
station, one clone chamber, one re repair bay, six tier two fridges, two food processors, and 54 growing plots. Check out the blade collection in my workshop for versatile tactical strike package. Why don't we take a look at that right now? Uh, just to take a quick peek. Oh, I see. So this must be this one here. Is that the one? I'm guessing. So this is the blade collection. Um, so there's the gun blade, heavy assault tank. Um, he's got the, the spay blade, armored cargo ship, the switch blade, medium assault fighter. And this is the one we're looking at right now, the scabbard heavy transport. He's got the uh, Kydex tactical recon, the drop point rapid assault fighter. The last ditch fallback, uh, salvage pup multi turret salvager, the skeletal heavy offensive, and the cargo pup playload. So, those are all of the blade collection series that he has. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing he's built them to sort of resemble uh, the blade collection color, etc. Um, texture um, anyway so let's take a quick peek um, now how this baby handles so take uh, make sure to take a look at um, Excalibur's workshop and see all because he, he has more vessels more than his blade collection um, here why don't we just quickly take a look at that and then we can carry on and uh, take a look at the scabbard sv so yeah you see so he's got a ton he's got a ton of um of ships here not just a blade collection he's got pages and pages and pages of of ships um and i like the uh, presentation he's done a really great job uh you know presenting them having the proper uh, information for each so you're not left guessing as to what this vessel contains um oh look at that he's done a big rig that looks kind of cool um yeah so come out and check out excalibur's workshop and see if there's something here for you so now that being said let's go and take a look at the vessel itself okay so we are inside um now i'm not sure which hangar i'm in at the moment but uh, if we here, let's let's take the uh, jetpack off. If we open this sucker up, um, oh okay. Uh, sure, let's go this way. Might as well, because we came in a, in a hangar, right? I like the motion censored lights. That's really cool. Um, I see there's a repair bay right here. Where does this door lead to? All right, so this door here goes into where all the um, the equipment, the um, uh, tanks, and everything that uh, keeps this vessel running is stored. So, uh, kind of cool. So this is like the maintenance room. It's got all your tanks, your um, well, your core, and everything else in it. Um, what happens if we go up? What's up here? That's nothing. Oh, I shouldn't say nothing. I see. So it's two tiered. It's a two tiered. Um, get up. Two tiered. Uh, can we keep on going? Oh, it looks like we can keep on going up. So what's up here? There's another level here that holds all the generators. That's kind of cool. You know what? I like how he's laid this out. Um, you know, it does look like a ship. Uh, so that's very neat how that's uh, that's presented. Uh, so all your hardware, everything is in one location. And so let's head back down. Lots of cargo boxes up here. Uh, and your RCs. I should say RCS, that RCs. Okay, so now we are in, I'm guessing, this is your main hangar. So that's three floors right there. This does have enough room that you can fly something in here, turn it around, store it wherever you'd like. It'd be kind of, 
ah, you know what? Let's, let's not say it. I was going to say something, but let's just leave that alone. Um, there's nothing over there. Nothing over... Oh, hold on. I just spun myself around. This is the way we came in. So let's go this way. Uh, I see there are... Uh, there is a second level over here. Uh, and as you come in, you've got all your... Um, your armor lockers along with a O2 station that they look just they look different on the capital vessel um, more lockers over there we head in here and there's an elevator going up and these are your constructors here so I can't remember how many six I guess right yeah there's six constructor all together um, I like that I like how that's all laid out like that and in the corner here what do we have we've got the scanner okay so we've got one scanner in the corner we have a scanner number two this is for parasites what, what was this scanner over here for this is for radiation heat stroke okay sicknesses cool what do we have over here what is this this is for food poisoning and food bites so this is up to date with uh, with the latest uh, broken leg. That's for broken leg. Uh, we, uh, it's up to date as far as all the scanners that are, re are required for your your uh, medical. And then we have um, an O2 tank. What was this one again? We have an O2 tank and a repair bay. Okay, so these doors open up here and nothing else right over here let's head on upstairs by the way i have to say there's there are your ammo boxes your cargo boxes um there's another health thing right here i didn't check to see or did i did i check this one yes i did this is broken leg and open wounds this one here is uh food yeah i did i think i did take a look at that let's head upstairs i still haven't found the um the groin plots uh, where was there oh I missed a floor here what's on this floor here let's take a look so this looks like this is the command center um, here is a bedroom and lounge area very nicely done very nicely done you've got your own little computer there <clears throat> your closet a little relaxation place um, yeah very very nicely done and uh, then there's like a cafeteria style over here a little kitchenette uh, with your uh, fridges etc and a place for for everyone to sit and eat <coughs> excuse me I don't know what's going out my throat little med station over here and through here oh I see you can oversee the hangar so where is the pots? I still haven't seen the growing pots in here. Okay, anyways, let's keep on going. Uh, in here is the... Oh, what happened here? I walked in and the lights went out instead of going on. Can we do that again? All right, sorry. I'm just going to turn the lights on so I can see what's going on. So this here is the main cockpit area. So this is the uh, this is where we take off from. So there's the master control seat right here, which we're going to take a look at in a second. Um, I still haven't found one thing, guys. I have not found. Oh, that's just wardrobe. Okay. I haven't found the the groin plots where are they okay there seems to be another level right is there another oh my god yes there is so here let's go up i'm guessing this is where i'm gonna find it oh yes i'm guessing this is it oh my god what's this here so we have more oh that's cock so we we've got two cockpits we've got two cockpits why are the lights off in here Hold on a second, guys. Not sure why the lights are not on. 
Is there a sensor here for me to turn the lights on? Is there a switch? I don't see a switch. I don't see a switch. And I thought I had turned the lights on. Let's get... Oh, it goes back off. Why does it go back off? Okay, so here is another, I guess, um, cockpit area here that you can, uh, you can sit and help navigate. And there's another one over here. So that's cockpit one, two... And I guess the main one is down below, right? The main one is downstairs. Are these washroom facilities over here? Just wondering if, uh, what's this door here? Oh, that's just a sign. Okay, that's cool. Very cool. All right, so uh, we carry on and we have uh, some more repair stations. We've got cargo boxes on the top. Um... O2 station, and here you have it, guys. Here are your food processors, your fridges. Um, hmm. Very nice. And here are your pots. Your your O2 tanks are here. Everything is ventilated. Oh, looky, looky. So here are your O2 tanks. I'm guessing this is more... Oh, that's more cargo boxes. More cargo boxes. Um, these are your um, grav uh, gravity generators, both of them. No, are you the gravity? No, you're the offline protection, sorry. Uh, warp drive. Yeah, so there you have it. It was, you know what? I have to say, it is very nicely laid out. Why don't we take it out for a spin and see how she flies? I'm guessing with all the. Um, all the power now do I fly it from up here I guess I could right um, it really doesn't matter where I fly it from all right so are we ready to go actually where the where's the seat I don't oh here's the seat right here okay let's fly it from here let's go ahead and sit in this massive massive capital vessel here Okay, we're going up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check how much... Oh, my God. I should fill it up with fuel first. That... All right. So, we've got everything powered up. Let's go for a little ride. Let's take a look how this thing flies. Um, oh, you know what I meant to check? Does it have all the thrusters on? Uh, what's Custom 6? I don't know what Custom 6 is. Devices. Let's just make sure we have everything... I just want to make sure all the thrusters are up and, uh, and running here. Before we go anywhere. Thruster group... Yeah, it looks like they're all up. Okay. All right. Let's go. So let's take a look. Oh, it looks like on the very top here, you can dock something as well. There's a, a little um, door that you can go in and out of. Um, just let me let me do a little bit of magic here, guys. So let's do this for two seconds. Give me Give me one second here. All right, so let's get rid of all that stuff so we can take a really good look at this. Okay, so if we have a look, it is dark. I apologize. Um, here, let's fix let's fix the darkness issue that we're having here. All right, so now that we fixed the darkness issue, let's, let's go up a little higher here. Let's take a look underneath. What is that underneath there? Oh, those are the uh, landing, yeah, landing pad. All right, so that's what she, uh, I, I, I must be way, way up high here. Let's turn this guy around. 
Let's go down a little lower, get out of the mist so we can take a look at this thing. And now we'll take it out for a little bit of a warp, a warp drive. All right, so let's take a peek here. Huh, okay, so there you have it. Now, we are going to talk about, and I'm sitting, I'm sitting up here in the very corner there. There I am right there. Um, so if we take a look, quite a few hangar doors on here, all different sizes, landing pad at the top, a way in at the very top there, and it looks like all the gun areas are, um, are, um, uh, marked where you can possibly place guns on this thing. Very nice. It is massive, but um, hey, it is a capital vessel. Okay, why don't we take it out of orbit? Very clean looking. I have to say it is very clean looking. Let's take it out for a little bit of a warp drive. Up we go. Because it's so big, it just seems like it's going so slow, doesn't it? All right, let's get out into orbit. All right, here we are. We are out now. Let's pick a place to go to. Let's go to Skillion. We're going to lock target on Skillion, and we are going to head... Oh, yes, I need to turn this back on so I can see which direction Skillion is. Uh, and she is down... Where are you? There it is, right there. All right, so let's uh, let's lock target here. Get our speed up. Where's the speed? That's a Kua. All right, here we go. Wow, that was, uh, that was a little weird. Th that just seemed a little strange. Okay, let's take a look at her out here. Yeah, you know, she is a very nice looking craft. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a quick peek at um at the uh what it takes to make this uh this craft here so we'll just let her um you know what we'll just let this baby continue to fly uh, so you can continue to go forward here and i am going to hold on let me see hold on one second guys okay so for for this capital vessel like we already said, it's a, it unlocks at level 15. It's a size class 5. Um, what else? Uh, consumption generators. There's 10 generator. Max output is 500 M watts. I'm guessing that's uh, uh, 32 cargo boxes, 4 ammo boxes, 6 fridges, 2 food processors, 6 constructors, which we already covered. But this is what we're, oh yeah, and there are a whole bunch of uh, med stations, clone stations, etc. But this is the important part right here. This baby here takes 14,466 iron ingots. 
it takes uh, 24,541 sathium ingots. It takes uh, 1,793 copper ingots. 3,162 silicone ingots, 8,790 nadinium ingots, 4,416 cobalt ingots, 280 estrium ingots, 280 zycosium ingots, 54 growing plots in that steel, 50 uh, uh, raw plastic material and 18 wooden planks. The production time is 14 hours and 3 minutes for this vessel here. Um, that is uh, that is one one baby one uh, a, a lot. The sathium, well, I guess the sathium really isn't too bad when you consider. Uh, what surprised me, and actually it doesn't surprise me, the um, Astrium and Zycosium. There are no weapons on this this uh, this vessel. That's why that is so low. If you had the uh, the weapons on here, it would just be that much more for you to bring it in. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, so that is going to be it for this episode. Um, Make sure to go and visit Excalibur's workshop. Give him a like. Uh, check out some of his crafts that he has. And next week up, we will be um, creating... I don't know. Shall we create... Let's. Why don't we make an SV? So next episode will be me coming up. And I better start thinking now how I'm going to go ahead and make this thing. Um, but we're going to make an SV... Uh, that I can also ensure I can retrofit a, uh, a warp drive in there. But it is going to be an SV, a small vessel. And um, yeah, let's see what I can come up with. So please hit the like button. You know the drill, guys. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you have not hit that notification bell, Please do so, so you can stay up to date with all my uploads. Ciao for now, guys.